The loading speaker and span in the blindfolds minus the rider. Waiting on speak and span to get into gate four. The rider has climbed up in the gates. As speak and span continues to delay the start. And now the starting gate attendants using brute force to get speak and span in. But speak and span fighting them off all the time. We'll try once again with the buggy whip this time. But still, speak and span refuses to enter gate four. Track clear for racing, so as soon as the four horse enters, we will get the tenth and final on the way. But up to now, the rest waiting patiently. And Spick and Span continues his antics, currently at odds of ten to one. Now they've gotten Spick and Span in. Shane Gordon will climb on board. Field in line for the tenth and final. 1,500 meters is the absorbing veterinary liniment. They're all set to go. They're off. Get up, stand up, gets a good start far side. Tracking Eskimo going in chase. Life on the run races out wide of horses. There goes Master David scooting between runners. And Master David now hits the front from tracking Eskimo. Star Ruler moving down into second just ahead of tracking Eskimo. Spick and Span racing right where with them. Little Chups on the rail. Get up, stand up, left off the pace. Along with Eminence racing down on his inside. A break back to Natural Fantasy. There goes a Prince Tafari out wide. ANS Express rail runs. Life on the run begins to fade. Overtaken by Skipping Cool. Early train is there. Orchis making progress on the outside, then Sky Limit, and uh, dropping right through the field, it's life on the run. I've left the half mile and run past the 716. Star Ruler shows up narrowly, spick and span, testing all the while. Uh, just in behind them, tracking Eskimo. Get up, stand up, pass to make ground, running in fourth spot. Master David racing back in fifth, some ways off that lead. Little Chups now taken to the outside for more run. Natural Fantasy is right there. In behind that group, we have Eminence as they have turned into the lane. It's Star Ruler on the outside with the lead. Spick and span, challenging once again. Tracking Eskimo, now stepping Stepping out wide, further back to a natural fantasy. Get up, stand up, racing down on the outside of horses, but they drive now past the furlong pole. And out in front, Spick and Span has it over tracking Eskimo. Natural fantasy trying to close up against the rail. It's Spick and Span being driven out by Duchesne Gordon, just yards to go. Spick and Span in the end clear of natural fantasy who will finish second. Skipping Cool looks to be third over Sky Limit, then Prince Tafari tracking Eskimo.
And your attention once again called to the winner's enclosure for the presentation of the absorbing veterinary liniment donated by Hypro Super Center. Ms. Desireen Chaplin, accountant, presented to Delroy Smith, representing D&W Syndicate, owners of Spick and Span, winner of the race. George Walsh will receive a check of $5,000 for the winning groom, Rupert Johnson. All owners who place first through third receive five, three, and two bags of feed, respectively. Also a gift basket presented.